In this video, we are going to learn how to implement the unit of work pattern with Entity Framework Core. Here below, we have a code that we can put in the application layer that we can use to apply the unit of work pattern. Now, let's see the code that we have to put in the infrastructure layer if we want to use Entity Framework Core. So, as you can see here, we have this EF unit of work class, which implements the unit of work interface that we created in a previous video. We have this IDV context transaction, which is the object that allows us to create a transaction. Then we have here the constructor in which we receive a DB context. We have begin, which creates the transaction. Then we have commit, which commits the transaction. As you can see here, if the transaction object is not null, then we do the commit and then we dispose that object. And then we say, transaction is null so that we can create another transaction. Then we have the option of rolling back in case there is an error and here we have if the transaction object is not null then we can say rollback async and dispose async and again this object is equal to null and finally we have this dispose async just in case something happens and we don't do either commit or rollback if you want to learn more about clean architecture with ASP.NET Core buy my Udemy course today you can find out more in the description of this video thank you